Welcome to Angela's Kitchen Garden. Today I've come down to the allotment to measure up my nets just to make sure that they're the right size. So I've just come down to the plot to check that my netting is the right size before I finish sewing it up. I'll show it you here. What I've done is I've got two pieces of netting because I couldn't get any that was wide enough and I've put three rows of stitches in just to sew them together so that they don't come apart because these here are five foot tall and four foot wide so that's 14 feet in total all the way across I couldn't get any that was wide enough for that and then what I've also done because with scaffolding netting you have these holes in it for you to put the scaffolding poles through and obviously butterflies and things like that can get through these holes so what I've done is I've put a row of stitching in just underneath the holes so that I can make sure that none of the butterflies can get in and I've gone all the way along this with the stitching if you have a look there's no holes all the way along and so that should keep all of the butterflies and things out but what I have thought is with the holes that run along the bottom because I've also got the holes for the scaffolding poles here I'm going to thread a bamboo cane in and out all the way along the bottom and then I'm going to use this to hold it down and so I'm going to thread the bamboo cane all the way along and then just use some pegs to hold the bamboo cane down and this should be really good at keeping all of the birds and things out because you don't want them getting trapped in your nets and then here is if it wasn't billowing quite so much because of the wind these actually touch and so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go home and I'm going to sew all the way up here I'll probably stop it about there and then I'll just peg these bits down here and that will create a nice neat seam down here so that the nets fit over these cages nicely and so I think this is going to work really well I'm really pleased with it so now all I need to do is go home and build one for this cage one for that one and one for the one over there and then it will all be ready for things to be planted out once the frost has gone so i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and check out my other videos also if you're on social media you can follow me on instagram twitter and pinterest and the details of that are in the description below and i will see you on the next one bye